Hey guys, Matt Bell with Electric Violin Shop. We are going to be talking today about flying with your violin. This is a question we get from a lot of people that buy an electric violin and now they're going to be traveling to go to gigs and they're like, hey, how am I going to get on an airplane with this thing? Um, this is part two. We did another video that uh, talked a little bit more about international travel. Most of this advice is kind of more centered in the United States. Um, here is a, a U.S. law right here that does state that small instruments, meaning guitars or violins, can travel in the passenger cabin even if they're larger than what a, what a carry-on is supposed to be as long as it will fit in the overhead bin. So the law says if there's room in the overhead, then it can go as a carry-on even though technically it's larger than what it's supposed to be. This is not always the case. The ultimate decision maker is the pilot of the airplane and occasionally you're going to bump into a pilot that just maybe he ate something for breakfast that just didn't set right with him and he's going to be or she's going to be a uh, you know horse's rear end about it. It did happen to Rachel Barton Pine and she uh, ended up spending the night on the floor of the terminal because they told her they were going to have to check her violin and she's like yeah the violin's worth more than the airplane so that's not going to happen. And uh, in her case, that's actually true. And so, yeah, she spent the night laying on the floor of the terminal because the violin simply cannot be replaced. And if I'm a day late, that's one thing. If my violin is smashed, that's something entirely different. Uh, Jimmy Mattingly, who plays for Garth Brooks and has done quite a bit of flying with his instrument, same deal. He says, you know, you can, you can, that law says that you can't be denied boarding with your instrument. However, if a, uh, if a pilot just throws a fit, then um, you're, you just have to be willing to not get on the airplane. Uh, Daniel Bernard Romain, who does a whole ton of traveling with his instrument, mm -hmm. said, yeah, buy the smallest case you can, join all the clubs that you can, the, the frequent flyer clubs, so you can start racking up mileage and get better priority seating. Talk about the exit rows, sitting in the rear. The way that helps you is if you're sitting in row 30, you got to walk past all these overhead bins on the way to get to your seat. If the one at row 12 has some space in it, stick your fiddle in there. You know, you might get all the way to the back and there's no room back there. So, uh, yeah, if you've walked past 30 rows worth of uh, bins, stick your violin in one that'll fit. Uh, talks about getting a strap so your instrument's hidden and harder to see behind your back and you're less likely to, to get flagged. And then this last one, if they do tag you and say, hey, uh, we're going to need you to check that at the gate, don't say anything. Just walk down the jetway, stick that tag in your pocket, and uh, they're not going to radio down to the plane and say, oh, hey, we got somebody with a violin that has to be tagged. They're just assuming that you're going to present it to them. So if you don't, then uh, you got on the plane. Um he also says, worst come to worst, plead your case with the pilot of the plane. Um, I know Ross Holmes has done this before. Ross Holmes, at least twice, his, his fiddle has made it on the airplane and ridden in the cockpit with the pilots. They actually do have some storage in the cockpit of a lot of airplanes. And if you're charming enough, you might get them to put your, your fiddle in the, uh, in the cockpit. Uh, Daniel also <laughs> suggests carrying a copy of the law with you. Uh, which I recommend as well. And like he says here, do not argue with the crew. You're going to lose. Especially in today's climate, they can deny you your seat for just about anything. If you're being a, uh, a, a not nice person, they can kick you off the flight. So um, be fun. Be the light. Yelling isn't going to get you anywhere. Be calm and loving, and your chances are a lot better. Uh, Earl Manian and David Wallace concur with Daniel on this on this number six, which is the one that he was saying that you, uh, if they go to try to gate tag you, just stick that thing in your pocket and walk onto the airplane, and uh, you got a pretty good chance of just getting away with it. Uh, Joe Denison, he's got a he's got a trick up his sleeve that he's never had to use. Uh, his uh, case has a cover over the case, and if they try to tag that, then he just gives them the cover to the case. Here you go. You wanted to check this. Here it is. And then you just slide onto the plane with the case that was, you know, inside that bag. Um, Jesus Florido, who has done a whole lot of flying with his, always try to board first. That's what I do. I actually pay for a priority boarding. 
um, either at Comfort Plus or First Class or whatever you can do to get on the airplane sooner. Um, he, you know, he had a, a gate agent flag him and he asked, hey, can, can I show you that this does fit in the overhead? And uh, he also carries a hard copy of the law. Uh, Raz points out that these rules only apply if there is enough space. So try to get early or get seats with uh, earlier boarding. Uh, worst case scenario, you might find yourself begging somebody on the plane to say, listen, this is my violin. This is how I make my living. They're going to make me put this under if I can't convince somebody to, to put their dirty underwear underneath the airplane. You can just beg somebody to, to pull their overhead, to pull their uh, bag out of the overhead so you can put your violin in. Raz is a little more uh, uh, charming than me, so she's probably going to have a better chance than I am. But uh, that's, that's always one of those things that you can try to do. Okay, so hope this has been helpful for you. Hope you guys enjoy flying with your violins. Hope you're getting lots of gigs where you need to go fly with your violin. And uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then check out these other videos as well. Hope they're helpful for you too.